All right, well, incredible new video today of the lunar surface recorded by the Artemis mission. The uncrewed Orion, uh, Orion spacecraft came within about 80 miles of the lunar surface this morning, and it captured these images. Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich explains the significance of today's mission milestone. These are images like of which we have not seen for over 50 years. Now, new video today from the Orion capsule in the Artemis One mission made its closest pass to the moon during its 25-day mission. It flew by the moon just 80 miles above the lunar surface. NASA beamed back these pictures. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. After many attempts, Artemis finally launched last Wednesday from Florida. The test mission has no human crew. Instead, there's mannequins aboard. Our recording data to indicate whether the flight will be safe for humans on future flights. Over the next six days, the spacecraft will circle the moon. The orbit will take the spacecraft deeper into space than any previous vehicle rated for human flight. Orion will make one more pass of the moon before returning to Earth and splashing down in the Pacific on December 11th. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of tests, I mean, those mannequins aren't there just for looks. There are actually all kinds of sensors to sense the, 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 the vibrations, the G-forces, mm -hmm. the radiation. And then the key part here is probably the most important part is going to come on December 11th when they make the splashdown. They haven't tested the heat shield on the bottom of oh. it, it's super thin. Oh boy. And it's the biggest heat shield ever created for that Orion capsule. So that'll be a, a, a important day when it comes down and we'll see if it protects the crew in there or the mannequins. The mannequins. Like the mannequins, they're, they're, it's kind of funny that, that they're, but there's a lot of experiments going on, really cool mission. And it's a short mission. If they would have launched earlier in September, it would have been like a 40 day mission mm -hmm. because of the launch here just last week, it's only a 25 and a half. Uh, Is it because they launched late? Yeah, it's all about the orbital track that it oh. takes. So it's a much shorter mission because they're doing it later in the year. Yeah. So it's gonna be cool. I can't wait to see it come back.